why are Western atheists not talking about slash exposing Hinduism like they do to Christianity, Islam, and Judaism? This is an excellent question. Uh, I'm just going to call you Turtle because you have a Ninja Turtle as your icon, a very creepy one. Okay, Turtle, I have suspicions for this. So if you have been listening to uh, what we've been talking about thus far, um, I, I think there are some similar attitudes here that prevent quote unquote Western, oftentimes we just mean like white, <laughs> like white atheists from um, criticizing Hinduism. I think it's very similar to what the hesitancy towards indigenous practice. Um, partly it's because of, I think, uh, a guilt or sensitivity towards the cultures that bear these religions because of the knowledge that they have been previously colonized and uh brutalized <laughs> um from you know like my um cultural or imperial heritage right so and and a desire to not replay some of those historical scripts right of thinking oh i'm from a superior culture and i'm going to tell you how to really live and they acknowledge how that's really been harmful in the past they don't want to do it again um i think that's part of it um i think another part of it is just the language barrier there's obviously a massive language barrier in terms of understanding the extremely diverse practice of hinduism um especially across all the different regions in india and the just the plurality of languages within the subcontinent itself that provides multiple layers of language barriers um and then on top of it it's probably because there isn't a lot of hinduism in their day-to-day -day life um it's not something they're exposed to very often um if they are it's probably in the setting of someone from a minority community um in their area and Maybe that's not something they talk about together. Probably not how they learn about it. It's just like a lack of exposure um, for, I think, probably the majority of people. And also not wanting to um, talk out of turn about something you're not educated about. Um, I think those are probably the main motivating factors. And that and they don't understand how this actually does really touch people's lives and harm people. Um, I've kind of gleaned these attitudes from some people who seem to think that traditional forms of faith or folk religions and practice aren't as harmful as um structured organized religious practice as we see in you know the highly structured catholic church um i completely disagree um but not every, a lot of people don't have that attitude what do you think armin why do you think western atheists aren't exposing <laughs> hinduism <laughs> I think I think they're justified in not exposing atheism. I mean, their lives are not being influenced by it as much as you Christianity, exposing for example. Hinduism. What did I say? Exposing atheism. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Very interesting. laughs> hold up, mask, guys! Pause. <laughs> mask. Tagia confirmed. Secret Muslim confirmed. <laughs> the Hindus were hold correct. <laughs> uh this is this is guys the hindu are gonna they're gonna be like told you anyways yeah so i think they're completely i think they're completely justified like why would they i mean we have we are extremely motivated in going after hinduism first of all because we want to come at us uh second of uh, secondly because we have a big community in india and we we care about them right um but you know, if you're not interested in something, or if you, I okay, so there's no, there's three different factors, right? Interest, knowledge, mm, or impact, okay? Right? You, if, you know, taste, sorry, ta taste, interest, and knowledge, okay? So if you, if you, if it's just not your taste, if you're not interested in Hinduism, there's no reason why you should talk about Hinduism, right? Maybe you're more passionate about talking about Islam or Christianity or Judaism or whatever, right? 
or maybe you would like to talk about Hinduism, you just don't know much about it, and you do not find it, uh, you don't either have the time or don't think it's worth the effort to go and learn about Hinduism, or it's because where you live, you're not affected by it, so you might think like it doesn't. I'm not saying that you have to be affected by it to, to go criticize it, right? Because somebody might be like, I'm not affected by it, but I'm very interested in Hinduism. Any of these reasons are good, are good enough, um, but if you don't have any of these reasons, it make, com makes complete sense for you not to go after it, right? It makes complete sense, right? If you don't have any excuse. We have all the excuses, right? But if you don't have it, don't go for it. And they're also saying, please request all Western atheists to stand up with us in your video. Ask them to read Hindu holy books. It's the worst because... than any religions that exist in the world. Well, I will ask people to stand with you and become more educated about Hinduism because I think it is we, important we, and it affects so many people. Yeah, what we do is we invite suggested. We don't say you have to. Like there's no, there's no, like we don't think like this is something that you are he said um, obligated to. I know I'm just adding. Let me just add my, I'm not saying he didn't say this. I'm just saying my view about it. I'm just saying that I think that you can, yes, we can suggest people, and if they want to accept that invitation, they could do so. But I don't think we have to look down upon people who don't. There are so many things in this world that you could fight for. There's enough harm in this world that you could pick and choose. No, not everybody could fight every single battle. And I don't. I do want to say that I don't know if it's true. I don't think it's true that Hinduism is the, is the worst religion in the world. Okay, specifically because. I mean, the caste system is extremely horrible, and it's very Hindu, for sure. It's extremely, like, it is within the scripture, and, like, nobody could deny that the caste, the, the, all the harm that comes out of the caste system has, um, nobody could nobody could justifiably deny the fact that that is not because of Hinduism. However, the influence of Abrahamic religions on the world has been dramatically higher. I mean, India's damage has been to India. Um, Abrahamic religions harm has been to the God to the whole planet but yeah go on well I remember having a conversation where I convinced you about you had changed your mind about the harm that Hinduism has done to humanity but we can't rehash yeah. that whole conversation right now we need to be quicker but what was it yeah, well, okay fine can you remind me later how did we come to that conclusion because yeah I, 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 re I, I reject that conclusion right now until I get reminded but, but yeah, <laughs> but, but right, Hinduism, Hinduism, very harmful. Uh, Islam is the worst religion, uh, but Hinduism is very harmful as well. All, all of all of the religions are. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Kali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.